welcome back to the channel. Today's episode we'll be doing the install of all the hardware on both bathrooms. Um, and but before we do that, the countertop guy was here yesterday and measured for all the counters and everything like that. He didn't use a laser. He just used a, an iPad with a program on it to put his dimensional data in there and stuff like that, notes and all that. So I didn't think it was necessary to really film it because you really wouldn't learn much from that at all. Um, but uh, with regard to this little platform here, um, we, we're going to have uh, quartz also installed here to match the cabinetry um, countertops as well. I wanted to get rid of the old genuine imitation simulated marble. I got rid of that yesterday, broke it all up and took it out of here. But the problem is that's not level. So I have to go by the tile that's installed here on both sides here. And I had to make, uh, I just, I, I created like a form is what it is, like a, a form to put up here and I put the, uh, uh, the C-clamp against it here, not too tight. And on the other side, I have a block of wood to protect the uh, uh, tile up. Uh, so I bought this stuff called Henry's um, Premixed Floor Patch. It's supposed to harden and I'm going to float it in here. I never worked with it before, so I don't know if it's going to uh, uh, track well when I, when I run it and skim it, whether it will drag or not, I don't know. I don't know anything about the product at all. So. We're both going to see this for the first time. But I'm going to install, put that in here, and then uh, run it through with the trowel so it's nice and flat. And it takes about three hours to cure. The counter guys aren't coming for another 10 to 12 days from now anyway. So um, you'll see this being done before we start, I start the hardware uh, installed on the canvas. So stick around, please like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll get going right now. I never worked with this material before. It's kind of very sandy. It's a very sandy material, but it flows really good. It doesn't drag at all. It doesn't slip or drag at all. So I'm just putting like a lot of it on. And I'm gonna take most of it off actually. What's gonna happen? Making sure to cover all the low spots, especially on this side. take the form more for you know another day all right so now that the half wall is finished it's all nice and level the next thing on the agenda is installing all the hardware on the doors and drawers I like to start on the drawers first because I have the jig set up for that then after that I'll go back on the doors I only have five doors so that's the next thing we're going to do So this drawer face is 10 inches wide and five and a quarter inches high. So 10 inches, half of that is five inches. I set this from the center line to the stop here, the inside of the stop, five inches on center. And five and a quarter divided by two is two and five eighths. So from the center line here, two and five eighths up to the stop is where the center line of the cabinet is, the face is this way. These stayed remain constant. This remained at three and three quarters, okay, for the draw pull. So now I put this on here, make sure this is along this side, nice and tight. And now I can see that this is exactly perfectly. And I'll do the same thing. Start with the drill, the, the normal size drill bit, and then I'll take it out, put the smaller bit in, do it, and then put the other side in and do it again. The problem with this is I'm drilling through two pieces of material, three quarters on the face frame and three quarters on the box, because this is dovetail joinery and the boxes are solid three-quarter inch. So I, you know, it's a little bit, little bit deeper to go in. I had to get extra long screws for the hardware because um, the hardware that came with, the, with the, uh, the draw poles was not long enough at all. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this. Now this is typical setup for one, two, three, four drawers. The two on the bottom over here on each side, it's the same width, 
but the height's gonna change because it's a deeper drawer. So I will just adjust this accordingly. All right, so um, on my wife's side here where this, uh, the sink base is, um, I had a little problem here with these two, uh, these two drawer poles, uh, door poles rather, because this side I put in first and then when I went to drill this one in and something didn't line up right. So I checked the jig over again, checked my measurements and stuff like that, everything looked right. This door was higher by about a quarter of an inch, so I had to readjust it obviously downward. And the same thing actually happened uh, before on the, um, on the one on the other side of the house, and I fixed that right away too. But it kind of weird that happened, it kind of threw me off, but this is fine now, everything's perfect. And so I have eight more drawers to do, and uh, we'll be finishing up with the hardware then. So, uh, so here we go. These drawers, the face frame here, from end to end is 16 inches, half of it is eight inches. And then this is five and a quarter, half of that is two and um, five eighths. And so I have it all set up and we'll see what happens. I'll just put a little line in here first. The most important thing here with this jig, this is not a very expensive jig at all. I think it was like 18 or 20 bucks, is to make sure it's steady, that everything is nice and steady and that you try your best to keep it, uh, stop from moving. The other thing is that make sure that your drill is completely perpendicular, straight up and down and you know take your time with it so i have it right in here first i'll just give a starter okay now that, now i can take that off and two little dimples on there and i'll get the small drill bit This drill bit's a little bit bigger in circumference. I have a little more room to play because, believe it or not, these um, these draw poles, they're not all the same. The stems are off a little bit. Some of them are off an eighth of an inch. An eighth of an inch is a lot of, a lot of space. When you're trying to get this in at three and three quarters, you set the jig up at three and three quarters, and I'm like, what's going on? So that's why I went with a little bit bigger drill bit, but I'm still okay with it. And it gives me a little more room, a little more latitude to make a shift if I have to, a little bit, just so that everything's nice and uh, level. One more thing I want to show you guys. Um, so I have my pilot hole in here. It's all the way through both, both parts. And I have my other drill bit here that's a little bit wider so that I can have a little more play with regards to the hardware. When you go to do this, you don't want to just commit yourself right away and plunge it in because you will, the tendency to splinter over here on this finished side is, is great. So you kind of like got to put it in and just, you know, just touch it like this, if you can see it. See, it's just, what it's doing is it's not splintering now. So now I can plunge down in into the material and it's not going to splinter. Same thing here if I can do this correctly. I'm not going down in it. I'm just at the surface of that hole. And so that'll be fine. So now I can plunge in and it's not going to splinter up in here. Very important for the finished side. Okay, so I just clean this up a little bit and then I'll put the hardware on. So with regard to putting the hardware on, this particular hardware, I make sure that I, I run them both up together. I don't try to tighten one side at a time from the other because of the situation I just told you about the eighth of an inch on some of these that it, there's a disparity between the centers of these posts, all right? So I try to put it together. I use a small one, small Phillips head. I screw it on. And I don't, I don't bring it all the way home. I just bring it so that it's just, just barely touching, okay? And then I go to do this side here. Do this side here. It's still a little loose. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tip it up and look at it to see if it's straight, you know, totally level. That looks perfect. That's perfect. So now I'll add a little more strength onto this, to hold it tight. And now I'll really, I'll really um, bring these home. That one's perfectly, perfectly straight. Okay, one down, seven to go. In this case, I'm doing the door. I'm drilling the holes for the door. So I have a stop here, and I know where I want to put that, exactly where I want to put it. You know, something like this over here. Okay, and um, so that's all, this is a stop, which you can adjust also. And then here's a, here's a straight edge that you put it against. This stop will be on the top of the door, like that. 
and the strain edge is here. Now, when you drill this, I start with the size of the bit that comes with the kit, okay, which fits in these holes exactly perfectly. So I start with that on both of them, then I back it off and I put a smaller drill bit in, and I go all the way through. I plunge it all the way through, okay, then I change it back to the other bit and do it this way. I do that because if you start with a larger bit, even though I have my finger and my, my hand clamped really tight on this, down, down on the stop and over here on the straight edge, it could move a little bit, so that's why I do that. You'll see me pre-drill a little bit here and here, then change it to a smaller bit, drill it all the way through, then go ahead and put the other bit back in and do it. It's more work, but I want to make sure it's perfect. Now I triple checked all these measurements, so I know that this is, this is going to be just exactly perfect. So I start with the regular bit. And I, everything's still there, and everything's tight. Okay, now I have marks. Change the bit, put the smaller bit in here. Yeah, it's, 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 it's more, more than one step, right? So, it's okay. Throw this one out. Now I know that they're perfect. And when I'm going to put this hardware in, it'll line up exactly perfect, exactly the way it's supposed to be. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up all the hardware with regard to both bathrooms, finished complete 100%, and it came out pretty well. Um, the jig worked okay. It's kind of like tricky. You have to really hold it and make sure it's steady. Take your time with the drill, make sure it's vertical. I did start with a pilot hole first, as you saw, and then I worked my way up to, you know, uh, the proper hole for the uh, for the screws to go into the back of the uh, the hardware. But I um, had a little trouble with it, but um, it worked out pretty good. Um, the hardware wasn't consistent. I had three and three quarters on the centers, and some of them were three and seven eighths. So I had to kind of play with that a little bit, but it all worked out. Anyway, stick around for the next episode. Please like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you on the next video.